Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I would like to talk to you about polyrhythms, what they are and how to use them to enhance your compositions. So, first things first, what is a polyrhythm? According to Wikipedia, a polyrhythm is the simultaneous use of two or more rhythms that are not readily perceived as deriving from one another, or as simple manifestations of the same meter. The simplest example would be a 3-2 polyrhythm. Here, we have a woodblock playing a rhythm of 1 8 note out of 3, while the tambourine plays a rhythm of 1 8 note out of 2. See, while they are not perceived as directly related, they combine into a new form of rhythm. From there, you can play with any numbers, such as 3-4, Four five seven eleven and so on. It's up to your imagination and self confidence as long as you love what you hear. Now, for the purpose of this video. I wrote a short orchestral piece using entwined rhythms. Let's listen to it. So, what did you hear? The tempo is fixed. 110 BPM in 3-4. I first wrote the strings part in that time signature. Now let's add a piano part at the same tempo, but in 4-4. With the strings, it sounds like this. The piano blends well with the strings and creates a strange feel, right? Let's move forward and add a celesta part in 5-4. With the piano part, it creates a 4-5 polyrhythm, all nice and gentle. And a 3-4-5 polyrhythm when we let the strings in. So far so good, I hope you're following because things are about to get trickier. I wrote an oboe part in 7-2, though you can count it in 7-8 as well. Let's listen to it alone. For the purpose of this exercise, I added a final line with shallows and pizzicatos, doubled with timpani. 
As all the other parts are quite high-pitched, I felt the track lacked some low end. And those strikes occur on a base of 11. But how did I count those? Don't forget that when playing with polyrhythms, you can change your time signature, without changing your tempo, to create exotic effects. In this case, I came back to my 3-4 and divided it in some kind of triplets, like this. Then all I had to do was write one note out of 11. I'm not sure I would keep these in the final track, as they seem to fall quite randomly. But why not? Let's hear the full piece once again. We now have a 3, 4, 5, 7, 11 polyrhythm. It can seem intimidating, but with some practice, you'll get comfortable with the concept. I wrote this piece in two hours, with my daughter asking for stories at the same time. No pressure. To conclude, a word of warning. Polyrhythms are not polymeters, nor are they cross rhythms. If you want to learn more about these, check out my blog. You can also search on YouTube, you'll find plenty of examples. And listen to prog metal, you'll discover loads of fascinating ways to use polyrhythms. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it inspired you to write with polyrhythms, please let me a link to your pieces in the comment section, I'll be glad to listen to them. Until next time, take care and go write beautiful music.